Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And I'm going to talk about the deception that's going on about this global warming stuff. This is part of the deception you may not be familiar with. Uh, here's the USGS site talking about how a process called sublimation works. It's vital you understand the process of sublimation because that is a process by which water, ice, or for that matter, frozen carbon dioxide goes directly from solid to gas with nothing in between. Uh, dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide and anybody knows anything about it knows that it simply vanishes over hours. It's a much slower process with water ice, but it does happen. If you look at the right hand, there's an inset. That's Mount Everest. Snow disappears from there all the time because of sublimation. If it disappears from there, it can certainly happen up in the Arctic. Okay, that's... So, this is a known process. It's nothing exotic. It's been known for a long time. Now, uh, in a minute, I'm going to show you the sites which uh, should talk about this process as being a part of Arctic ice so-called disappearing, which I'm not sure I believe in, but uh, we're going to take a look at those sites. Now, here's a search page that I brought up concerning polar deserts. You see, the Arctic and the Antarctic are actually deserts to an extent. They don't get a lot of snow. So, snow is the first one eventually packs down to become ice. So if you don't have, if you're below normal on snowfall, and you have sublimation, and some melting, then you're going to have receding ice. However, and here's the big but to this, is that you aren't being told about sublimation by the media, and I'm going to attempt to prove that. Well, I don't have to attempt. First sight, Time Magazine. And I could go on and on. I'm only going to give you a sampling. It's not just media, it's, you know, NASA and all those. Did the search term uh, start beeping at me when I got to this point, so I quit. Sublimation, not mentioned. Again, sublimation, not mentioned. This is... National Snow and Ice Data Center. And they're talking about climate change, and they don't even mention this is a government website, and probably, I'm, I'm not really sure whether it's government or private. Let's find out. Uh, looks like it's private. Okay. I don't want to drag this out, so... Sublimation. PSMag.com. I put in the search term, and this is what I got. NASA needs no introduction. Zero mention of sublimation. EPA. Zero mention of sublimation. I can go on and on for hours. I'm sure you're not going to find that on the Alphabet channels or anything like that. Wikipedia. Plant change. Sublimation. Nothing. Guardian UK, sublimation, nothing. USGS, this is a page that I uh, start on. So, right there you have it. 
You're being deceived, folks. This is nothing more than a political agenda. If they were being scientifically accurate, then they would mention climate change. And sublimation as being a part of what's going on. But they don't. They didn't come out quite right. They would mention sublimation as part of disappearing ice, if they were being accurate. But they're being intentionally inaccurate. They're lying to you. And that includes government websites like NASA, U.S. Uh, and these others. I don't know many are. NASA, EPA. They're lying sacks of shit. Sorry for the language, but that's the way this is. I'm not sorry for the language. They're lying sacks of shit. How else am I going to put it? They don't even mention sublimation, which is a vital part of this discussion, because if not getting as much snow up in the Arctic as you used to, and you have sublimation going, sublimation isn't going to stop, then you're going to have less ice. Da doesn't necessarily mean that it melted. What it means is it went directly from ice to water vapor. So why are these people not being honest? It's because this is a leftist political agenda, folks. As simple as that. This is not science. Uh, any of you county liberals care to take me on about that? You want to go? Let's go. We'll set up a dialogue on YouTube where we'll debate it. You want to go? Let's go. I'm laughing at your superior intellect. Anyway, about a line from Star Trek. Sorry, I couldn't resist. So there you have it. Uh, government websites, private web websites, they're lying to you about this. This is not to say the climate doesn't change. Uh, yeah. Our climate on this planet is variable. You'd have to be a fool to deny it. It does vary year to year. There's no question of that. There will be warmer periods, there will be colder periods. This has got nothing to do with CO2 coming from your tailpipe. This is the point. The Earth is a dynamic planet with dynamic changes going on all the time. It's the way it is. At any rate, I'm running longer than I wanted to, but here you have it. Here's the evidence I promised. They are not telling you the truth. Including the lying EPA and the lying NASA. Never a straight answer. And lying pri so-called private sector websites. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Liberalism is a mental disorder. Thanks for watching.